Charlie, are you coming? Huh? Oh, let me just finish this. To be continued? Aw, I really need to buy the next comic. But I've already used up my allowance. My new neighbors are looking for a babysitter helper. It's only for an hour a day after school, but you'd make some extra money and they could really use your help. I'll do it! Wow, talk about easy money. I just have to babysit a few hours a week and I'll be swimming in comic books. Babysitting isn't all that easy, Charlie. This is the house. That's weird. What's with all the antennas? They probably get lots of extra channels on their TV. I'm gonna love babysitting. We're so glad you could do this, Charlie. Did Miss Gatto tell you what we're looking for? Yep, sounds pretty simple. Brilliant! We've been working solidly for the past year on our scientific research project. We've had to rely on lots of babysitters. Maybe too many. Oh, you brought some helpers! Good idea! No, these are my friends, Mona and Lily. They walk me here. Well, the press conference is tomorrow and we have a lot of work left to do. And here's Johnny. Say hello to Charlie, your new babysitter. Huh? I wonder what kind of scientific research they're doing. We'll be downstairs in our study if you need anything. Johnny, be good. All of you. What did she mean by all of you? Wanna play space aliens? You could be... Nope. Sneakers. Alien attack! Huh? What? There's two of you? Yay! Hey! <laughs> Mona the Vampire at your service. Cold Red! Cold Red! Forget Cold Red! Charlie, we'd have been here sooner if Fang didn't have to make a pit stop. I think I'm onto something really big. Look, the whole family is filled with twins. The kids I'm babysitting are twins, their mother has a twin, their father too. Their cousins are quintuplets. Hmm. Doesn't that usually run in the family anyway? But take a look at this. In every alien comic book I've ever read, the aliens all look alike. And Johnny and Jimmy have been playing aliens a whole lot. How could two kids make such a mess? They look harmless enough. There's nothing harmless about aliens. it and the static electricity brings more of them to Earth. They could be planning on bringing over millions of them. Just like in my alien comic book. And if the kids are aliens... Their parents must be aliens too! There's something 
out information about Earth from the internet. We better get out of here. It's a whole family of aliens, and it looks like they're getting ready for an invasion. <laughs> Fang! <laughs> hey, leave Fang alone. <laughs> Have you been good, boys? Oh, dear. Oh, well, I knew I shouldn't have left this out here. <laughs> These triplets of mine sure can be rambunctious. I'm sorry the place is such a mess. I tried... Oh, don't worry about it. Tomorrow, we're unveiling a giant-sized version of this generator at the Science Museum. This was the prototype. It may look like any other static ball, but it... Oh, <laughs> I'd better not spoil the surprise. I was hoping you could help watch the boys at the museum tomorrow afternoon. We'll be there. Great! Come on, boys, time for a snack. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate! <laughs> They're probably planning their big invasion of Earth at the Science Museum tomorrow. Then it's up to us to make sure the boys don't touch the giant static ball. How? We couldn't control the three of them today. We need a super babysitter. Or a robot babysitter. Belinda! If anyone can control a kid, robot, alien, or human, it's Belinda. Oh, I'm sorry, Mona, but I'm totally booked tomorrow. Wish I could help. Well, do you have any tips on taking care of five-year-old triplet aliens? Cartoons and candy, but not too much or it'll work against you. Thanks. Bye. Okay. Belinda says we'll need cartoons and candy. We can't bring a TV with us, but how about comic books? Good, and I still have my Halloween stash. Wow! That should keep them quiet. We'll stop the invasion. We have no choice. All we need to do is keep the aliens under control so they don't touch the static ball. will do the trick every time. Look! They're gonna unveil it! Oh. Oh. Stunning! Oh. Stunning! Oh. Remember, keep the boys away from the static ball. I'll keep him busy with the comic book. Oh, no! They've escaped! Split up! Let's find them! You just have to show them who's boss. Oh, thank goodness you're all right. Mommy, mommy, mommy! 
thank you so much for rescuing them. Rescuing? I... It's all our fault. Your father and I have been working so much, and you're just trying to get our attention. For the next few weeks, while the Van de Graaff generator is being repaired, anything you want to do, we'll do it. Space Camp! Space Camp! Space Camp! Space Camp! Space Camp! Would you be available to babysit the boys full-time when we return to our research? I think we can work something out. Here you go, Charlie. Thanks for looking after the boys. Phew! With the robot babysitter on the job, the world will be a safer place. Yeah, and now I can finally buy the sequel to the Alien Invasion comic. I can't wait to find out what happens. I can. Hurry up, Charlie. The Native American exhibit at the museum isn't going to wait for you. Sorry, I left something in my desk. Here, shake my hand. Aw, it doesn't work. I can't believe I sent five bucks in the mail for it. What you got there, Bones? N nothing. You wouldn't be trying to hide something from your old pal, would ya? Ah! You're gonna get it, Bones. Leave him alone, George, or you'll have Mona the Vampire to deal with. Ooh, ooh I'm so scared. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you do that? I can take care of myself, you know. And here we have some Native American artifacts. They often represent the gods of the spirit world in their animal shapes. These ones here show coyote. Ah! <laughs> I can get up. Did you want to borrow this for your class report, Charlie? You can if you promise to be careful. That's okay. We're doing our report on Native American vampires. We always do our reports together. Your girlfriend does your homework for you too, Bones? Maybe this time I want to do my own thing, Mona. Thanks, Miss Gatto. I think I will borrow it. What's gotten into him? I don't know, but I definitely heard that totem pole howl. Ahem. <laughs> Thank you, Angela, for your report on fashion for the Native American woman. Our report is on Native American vampires. This variety was particularly vicious because of their kung fu grip. Really, Mona? Kung fu Native American vampires? The demonstration is much more convincing when two people hold the twig. But our partner bailed on us. I'll give you an extra day to prepare, Mona. Next. My report is on the Native American coyote god. Coyote is the Native American word for trickster. And the coyote god is known for his pranks and for causing trouble. This coyote dance stick was used in ceremonies to summon his spirit. The dance was usually performed by a shaman. And it went something like this. Thank you, Charlie. That was very informative. Did you see that? Hey, there's Charlie. Wait up! What, you don't even want to walk home with us anymore? I have to return the dance stick to the museum before it closes. Good, I don't trust that thing. It has creepy powers. Not everything has to be about monsters and ghouls, Mona. Huh? Step right up, kids. Get Come your on. free samples right here. We got your buzzers, fake doggy doo, and lots of surprises. If you want more, you can order from our catalog. Just joshing? That's where my buzzer came from. Hey, mister, this thing is broken. A paying customer. Glad to meet you, kid. <laughs> You're a good sport, kid. Take it. It's yours. Everybody loves a trickster. A trickster, huh? Oh, that's right. Josh is the name, and jokes and tricks are my game. Here, I've got something for you, too. Ha, ha, ha. Isn't this great? This gets him every time on the house. He's the trickster god. Well, come on. We have to follow him. 
You're doing it again, assuming we have to do everything together. Well, I have to return this to the museum. I'll see you guys later. The museum! Good idea! We'll arm ourselves with a little research, then we'll go after Coyote. Whatever. The totem's gone! I knew it! This says it's being restored. Or maybe you summon the coyote spirit with your dance in class, and now he's on the loose pulling pranks out of his bag of tricks. Boy, these museums sure are great for insomnia, huh? I like learning and all, but what a snooze fest. I don't know what you're up to with your pranks. I'm just trying to make this place fun. Imagine this, Josh's Museum of Gags and Pranks. Oh, I don't understand. There should have been an arrowhead in this box. I've already begun slipping in my own stock. I'll have this place turned around by next week. Better stay out of there, kitty. Stay away, or tricked you will be. Even sand changes its shape for me. I tried to warn you. My case is full of sneezing powder. This is getting serious. You're telling me? You kids better clean up this mess, pronto! This coyote god is no laughing matter. According to this, he can command elemental energies. Oh no! I got so busy with the cleanup, I forgot to return the dance stick. Now the museum's closed. That's okay, Charlie. I think we may be needing it. Listen to this. Once summoned, Coyote will wreak havoc until he is sent back using the dance stick, or until you trick the trickster. And it says here that if he swallows the full moon, he'll be on the loose forever. The full moon's tonight. We've got to use that dance stick to send Coyote back. I don't know, Mona. Miss Gatto said I should be careful with it. Why don't we try the other way? There's no time to come up with a trick good enough to fool a trickster, God. Let's suit up and meet in the park in an hour. Where's that man? He was supposed to meet us here with the dance stick. There he is. It looks like he's offering Coyote some gum. Hi, I, um, I just wanted to say thanks for the free samples. You wouldn't be trying to pull the old gum that blackens your teeth trick, would you? Here, have some nuts instead. Thanks, mister. Whoa! Yes, indeed. The spirits are mine. And soon on the full moon, I will dine! Leave my friend alone, Coyote. Oh! <laughs> Gets him every time. <laughs> Hilarious. Why'd you have to go and interfere? I had him right where I wanted him. Sorry, I thought you needed help. The dance stick! It's gone! I've got to get it back to the museum. I thought you were going to meet up with us so we could work together. We always do everything together. I'm going solo. From now on, it's Zapman, myself, and I. Are you sure this will work? Um, no. But we're running out of time, and I can't let that man go out there by himself. Sneezing powder, stink bombs, and my secret weapon. This is a job for that man. Soon the moon will be in my tummy, and I'll be judge of what is funny. Oh, no, you don't. see him anywhere. You think maybe he admitted defeat? Admit defeat? I'd rather cheat. Ah! Ah! Don't you think this prank is going overboard? 
What better prank than booby trapping the hole? When they free you, the whole place will fall. You've got a twisted sense of humor, mister. That's very sweet. But now to eat! Not so fast, Coyote! Zatman! Try some of this, you big pooch! <laughs> You're no match for me! Trickster I shall be for eternity! Wait! You're right. You are the greatest trickster of all time. Uh, you really? Zatman, no! no. Nope, I'm defeated. All I ask is to shake the hand of the greatest trickster the Earth has ever known. Oh, um, okay. <laughs> oh no, woe is me! You tricked the trickster, and now I must flee! How did you know we'd be here? I knew you'd try to stop him, so I figured this is the place he'd run to. What do you know? We did work as a team after all. I'm sorry I doubted you. The dance stick. This is so much more fun than working alone. This time, our report will be the best ever. And no more of Josh's gag items to distract us. Officer Halcross said Josh booby-trapped the museum with them so they would be forced to close, and then he could open his museum of gags and pranks. Hey, Bones, give me some gum. George, I'd like to say no, but I know you'll just punch me in the arm. So here. That's very smart of you, Bones. Ha, 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 ha.